Hunter Call of the Wild. I am showing you this specific location that I came across. Right now, I'm on my way to do a mission. But I came across this interesting point of interest. I am in the Yukon Valley still. Uh, as you can see, it's like, you know, it's so dark out here that I need to use my flashlight. Uh, the reason I'm showing you guys this specific location is because of this point of interest. And it talks about something very eerie, something really creepy, guys. This, you know, pile of rocks here indicates that there is something out there. The hairy man, the Urayuli. This is incredible, guys. Hairy man. So, think about it. You know, we're talking about these, uh, you know, incredible beings. So, let's read what it says. The Urayuli are said to be 10 foot tall, furry, ape-like creatures with glowing eyes. What does that tell you, guys? It's... It sounds like a Sasquatch. It sounds like a Bigfoot. Let's keep reading. Though generally seen as benevolent, legend has it that they are the transformed bodies of lost children that went missing in the woods. This is made all the more unsettling by their eerie wailing. Oh my god, so... Wailing, they... Do they wait? I don't hear any wailing, guys, right now, but... Uh, it's definitely creepy. Could Bigfoot be really out there? I guess we'll find out soon. Whoa, 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 whoa. So I am, uh... I am on a mission here. Jim sent me to this low specific location on the map and and it looks like it looks like something huge killed these two animals. This one here and that one up there. It looks like, you know, he's being, you know, hung and sliced open. Oh my god, it's headless. Son of a bitch. And what kind of animal would do such thing? Here's the collar. Okay, I think we're done here. Let's move on before anything comes sniffing around. The researchers have been using Copper Bowl Lake Outpost as their base camp. And you can drop the collar off there. Don't expect company, though. The research team are always out and about. Well, let's uh, drop this off. I'll tell you, I'll tell you something, though. Um, whatever did this, it must be a huge animal. Probably like a, you know, a grizzly bear. Or, uh, you know, the predator. We are on our way there. It's, you know, it's gonna take a little bit of time, but, you know, with this ATV, it's, and everything is easier. The only downside to this vehicle is that it's too noisy. It scares the animals away. We made it to the outpost. Now let's drop the collar off. I knew yep. I could count on you to get the job done. During my last flyby, Whoa. I noticed that there were people walking around inside of the Millerwood Mine Complex. The it's Carl complex Ed, right there. Is closed to the public, but that hasn't stopped some people from trying to explore the building. I'd like you to head over there, make sure that the place is still secure. There's a couple of groups that could be our trespassers. We trespassers? We a man that entered the reserve a few days ago, but they're here on a hunting trip with a respected guide. Okay. I'd be very surprised if he brought them anywhere near here. Okay, the other that's group interesting. I know about is a film crew that asked for our help to shoot a documentary about what they call local folklore. <laughs> local folklore? Apparently they what do you mean? In the USA hunting for monsters or aliens or something. Wait, what? Monsters? A aliens? As wild as this has its story, Sounds like my course. type of adventure. From native Alaskan myths to the tall tales of drunken gold miners. I've been here for almost two decades, and I've only seen Bigfoot twice. What? A church. A church? <laughs> oh my god, you got me, Jim. Okay, so... This is getting interesting, guys. I can't wait to get up there. I'm going as fast as I can. So apparently, there is a film crew around here that are messing around, and... You know, it's kind of interesting that they, uh... That they mentioned that, a film crew. What could they possibly be, uh here for, you know, is it because of, you know, the legend, you know, the folklore of a uh, Bigfoot, you know, it's, do they, are they planning to catch him? If that's the deal, then, you know, I want to do that first, I want to be the first to catch a Bigfoot. The buildings are still all locked up, it should be a quick search. Whoever was here has probably moved on, I wanted to search. Okay, we're doing a little bit of, uh, you know, investigative work. 
My last inspection was six months ago, and all the buildings were secure. Let me know if you see anything suspicious. Okay, this Is that door. door locked? It should be. Nobody's getting in there. The lock has done its job. Something's okay. not right. Interesting. Here. This door should be locked. Anything? The building's empty. Yeah, it's empty. I don't yeah. know why they'd want to be in here anyway. There's no one here. I'm gonna call Gabriella Baden's film crew, the one I was telling you about. Yep. I just want to make sure it's not them who have been breaking into the buildings. It's definitely them, all right? What the hell is that? What the hell was that? Whoa. Is that a cell phone? At the phone I'm calling? Not much point in me calling it now, huh? I didn't expect this from a professional film crew. Okay, so there was a phone we'll here. Them to cell phone building. on this table. I just grabbed it. I need to speak to them about what and they've done here. It triggered a mission. That phone you picked up is the only way I had of contacting them. So we're gonna have to track them down. Oh yeah, we're gonna Given have to track them down. Lack of bushcraft or respect for their surroundings. It should hopefully be an easy trail Wait, to follow. What is that? That wasn't there a few minutes ago. You've done a lot to help. But this is going to need an officer on site just in case things get ugly. I'm on my way. Okay, Jim's coming. What is that over there, guys? It's burning. And what is that? What is that? Look. Well, oh, that's a rock. East, there's a column of smoke. It looks like it's coming from close to one of our lookouts. I know it I is. I told you they'd be easy to track. Let's catch up with them before they set the whole forest ablaze. Yeah, let's go. Let's take a moment to appreciate the beauty of this location. The view from this place is simply breathtaking. Look at this. You can literally see everything. The entire Yukon Valley can be seen from this exact spot. I wonder what's going on down there. Like, that fire. Okay, so we are approaching the location. I can see the smoke. Oh, yeah, there's a fire down there. Let me park you found their around camp. here. But where are they? Look at the mess around here. It looks like something big has turned the place upside down. Oh my god. What are you trying to say, Jim? Our first concern is that fire. Douse it, will you? Absolutely. Let's put it out. Let's put it out. Huh. Take a look around their camp and see if there's anything that can tell us where they went. There's footprints everywhere here. Look. Look. A notepad. Oh, red fox. Notepad? Where's the notepad? Oh, there it is. Hmm. Interior haunted mine. The haunted... Explains that's a little bit about their trespassing. That, yeah, that, that's definitely true. It tells us a little bit about that. Red fox. Uh, wait a second. No, surely not. Not even the most ignorant what? town would even consider baiting animals out here. Bigfoot bait. Guys, take a look at this. Bigfoot bait. What the hell? And what is that? Are those onions and uh, dog food, maybe? What the hell? So that's. Yeah, they're definitely out here you know, trying to catch a. A Bigfoot, you know, they got the, uh, Bigfoot bait here, whatever that is. They got the food here, and they were, like, they had a fire, definitely. They, you know, they put the, f they, it looks like they took off. Whatever they were trying to do, something scared them. There's more What's notepads this? here, look. Notes on their show, maybe? Show? Oh, it's a script. A script? Wow. She's dedicated it to her younger self. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, I... Guys, let's put two and two together here. So, there's a film crew trying to, you know, make a movie about a haunted mine, which is our mine up there. They are here filming, but suddenly they... They took off. Look, they, they had fire. They had a fire here, which was, you know, still, you know, lit. I put it out. And they had a, you know, 
Their equipment? Who leaves their equipment behind? Who does that? Even the shoes, look. Backpacks and everything, you know, they... It looks like something scared them. Something happened here for sure, guys. I don't see any blood anywhere. I only see, you know, footprints, but those footprints are from uh, wolves. Now, on to the big question. What went down here? Could it really be that a Bigfoot came here and, like, you know, took them? So interact. Let's interact with this right now. Bigfoot bait. Looks a lot like dog food and still donuts to me. <laughs> That's what I said, dog food. <laughs> oh my god. So, okay, so well, there's a new this point of interest over there. Truly bizarre people, but it doesn't help us find them. Oh my god. Scream, but I can't see anything. What Get the hell is that? Maybe you'll see something that I can't. What the fuck was that? Oh my god. I heard the most horrific growl ever, and he came from this direction. I know I gotta go there, but something happened here in these woods. I'm reloading. I'm, a, I'm gonna get like... Oh my god, what if something happens right now? I gotta be like ready guys, ready for anything. Okay, so I spent a few minutes around here and I uh, couldn't find anything. Let's go over there. I'm pretty sure you guys heard it too, you know, it was a growl. Now, the weird thing is, I don't see any other footprints, like, you know, whatever did that to the uh, film crew. You know, it, I don't see any I've footprints. Got them. They're here, coming oh. out of the forest. What? What the? One of them is covered in blood. What? They've seen me. Oh my god. It's, uh, it's actually hey. happening. Over here! What? Make your way to me! Get into the plane! Plane? What the fuck is going on? I knew it. Something happened, guys. Something definitely went down here. So Jim... Jim found them. Oh, it's a grizzly bear. I see the grizzly bear, guys. Look at him. on board. Everyone's it on board. It looks like what a bear attacked one of them. She needs a doctor right now. I can't wait around. We're taking off. A bear attack? Oh, yeah, right, a bear. That was a Bigfoot. I've got Look at this. the airplane. Heading back to base. We'll have a doctor standing by. Guys, the, the film crew was attacked by, quote-unquote, a bear. Yeah, right, that was no bear. That was Bigfoot. Can you take care of their camp? We can't have it lying around, attracting bears. Yeah, okay, I gotta go back to the, uh, tent. Let me get my shotgun ready, just in case. So I am back at the campsite. But, there is nothing unusual here. Yeah, nothing. Oh. Something's gonna happen, guys. What? Hey there, Chichiko. I'll Ooh. bet you have a lot of questions that you want to ask me, huh? Oh, yeah, I do. Before you start, let me just give you the highlights. Baden's face and shoulder were pretty torn up. She took a swipe from a fully grown grizzly. Oh, my God. All while her friends accidentally, or should I say, incidentally, bear sprayed her. The spray likely saved her life, though. They thought that a 22 pistol was enough protection against grizzlies. So as well as spraying the bear, they shot it in the side. I've seen bears shrug off spray and even larger caliber rounds. So I'd say so, these guys are lucky it decided to run off. So wait a second, it was a grizzly bear after all? Anyway, Baden's in surgery this morning. Surgery? The bear's claws gave her some nasty head wounds. And it was able to sink its teeth into her shoulder before running off. Son of a gun. She'll be out of it for a few days. I'll question her when doctors say she's ready. Wow. I have to say, you handled yesterday well, Chichiko. You kept a level head, even when things went off the rails. I've had rookie troopers under my care who would have struggled in the same scenario. It's entirely possible that you saved that film crew's lives. 
Oh wow, look at that, 4K. That's great. Look at the mission complete, Gabriela Baden, Bigfoot Hunter. So we completed the Bigfoot mission, however, we don't really know what went down here. All we know is, you know, the facts, guys, the facts is that there was a film crew here. They were shooting a movie on those, uh, quote-unquote, haunted mines over there, abandoned mines. They came down here, they had a fire, you know, they had a little bit of a, you know, a good time here. And something scared them off. Something, that something turns out to be a grizzly bear who mauled one of the uh, film crew members, Gabriella, and she was taken to the hospital. So this, uh, you know, so-called attack was, you know, done by a grizzly bear, apparently. So there was no Bigfoot, uh, I guess. I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of confused still, but uh, all the clues, all the Bigfoot, you know, food here, all of the uh, equipment that they had, you know, it, it's kind of... It's kind of confusing, you know, were they really after the Bigfoot? And if they were, were they really attacked by a Bigfoot? That's still a mystery, even though, you know, the uh, record of the attack was, you know, written down as a grizzly bear attack. So you guys go figure, but this was by far one of the best missions, if not the best mission so far, in the Hunter Call of the Wild. I think I'm gonna leave it here, guys. This is the end of the video for now, at the uh, Yukon Valley. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.